we're going to be discussing the high resolution region anatomy module in the anatomatch table. As you can see upon clicking there, the regional anatomy shows the region, the resolution, the size, and the gender. Let's examine the fetus, for example. So I can simply click on it and then click open or double click on it for it to open. As you can see, the fetus now shows. And again, I can spin. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can rotate. And then we start off always by the settings, just this button here, in order to change the layout if I want, in order to change the text if I want, in order to change or adjust the colors of the veins, arteries, limbs, nerves. The live thing here is this heart button which shows the blood flow as you can see now here. You can see the blood flowing. So this live thing gives me this option to click this blood flowing through the veins or not. Now there is no blood. So it's not live anymore. If it's live, it allows me to show the blood moving. If I unclick it, it's not allowed. Structure pronunciation also, would it be enabled or disabled? You can skip the left ventricle, right ventricle, for instance, as the pronunciation of the left and right. Other features, lock. Uh, I want to enable the presets, the pin placement, the draw, and everything else. And you can enable these features and lock them using uh, creating a username and password. And I do want the spinning to, to be enabled. You can also add a ruler there. After I have, I am done with doing everything that I want in my settings, I can start playing around with the knobs. So the first knob is just like the cross anatomy for, see, for me to see the layout as is one piece. This is the square and next to it two smaller squares. Then I have the other, the second knob, which allows me to see the cross section. And how, I, how can I go about it? By simply coming here, skimming in and out. As you can see the orange line, it's moving across the cross section that I want. This button here also shows me the vessels. This button here allows me to load CTs or MRIs if allowable. And as you can see here, the cross-sectional changes. The, uh, can you see the orange line changing? So it can be um, across as you can see or you can do it like this so it's either vertically or horizontally passing through it and the brightness here adds on or removes layers so now we can see the skull the skeletal system the brain Spine. If you recall in the gross uh, anatomy module, there was a button here upon clicking on the heart of an eye with two arrows that allowed the eyes to move along with me as I'm spinning the cadaver. However, this option is not present here. So let's continue with the other knobs. The hand here, the pointer, is a pointer tool in which you can select any of these pointers and adjust their color, 
adjust their size. You can minimize this option if you want, or you can simply close it. The screenshot here or the camera uh, icon allows me to either snap or take a picture or uh, capture a screenshot of the whole screen here. But say I want to do so and I want to name it. Do not use the naming from here. Why? Say you have done it and you said OK and save. I will show you how it would show. The screenshot would show actually with the keyboard along with it. That's why it's always advisable when you're doing a screenshot of something to have a keyboard aside in which you can name and hence you can have a screenshot without the keyboard inside. Back to the Anatomatch table. As you can see, this is the pen tool. So uh, if you are explaining something to your students or to your peers, you can use any of these pen options, the colors and the text as well. If your handwriting is, is not very readable, you can adjust the pen settings, the right text, the arrows, the eraser stroke, how, uh, how big or small it is so on and so forth always each option can be minimized cleared or closed let's see again here are the settings okay so enter a text or you can write Will this follow my rotation? Would it be pinned if I write on the, uh, the structure that I have? No, as you can see. What would be pinned to the exact structure that I want? The pin, which is one of these modules in which you can select for each one, 10 pins. For each of these pins, 10 ones. Say I want to select this one and put it on the parietal bone. I can spin. I can adjust its size, its rotation. Unlike what I have done with the pen. If I want to remove it, I simply click delete. If I had added multiple, multiple of like this is the number one. I want to highlight this as number two or this one. 10, whatever. As you can see, this is named three. This is 10. And again, as I'm moving, it is attached to the organ or the, the part, the parietal, right parietal bone and the left, right, left parietal bone. So it's not static where I put it. It moves with the movement of the, the resolution section that I have chosen. And here it's the fetus. The head of the fetus. The measurement here allows me to measure. So if I want to take from here to here, actually, the width of the left parietal bone, it is 65.28 millimeters, for example. We've seen the pin, and this is again the layout. If I want to remove all the pins, I simply click delete all or remove. In the pan, say have, you have added here a note and you want to clear, you say clear the drawings. I want to clear the measurement. I click on this block sign. So to continue looking into uh, other options or the buttons or the knobs that are there, in my layout, this one, which is divided into four different face-like uh, pictures. The first one is the one that's facing on the sides, depending on how the fetus is spin. And heads up. 
that's done actually 90 degrees rotation etc say i want again to move the the 3d printed image cadaver organ you use the two different two different fingers and the two different hands if you want to zoom in and zoom out you pinch if you want to rotate you use one finger and rotate the direction that you want sometimes two if it's like this i'm spinning it and it's huge so let's continue with the dissection here unless you click on the blue and see it highlighted in blue then you cannot use this option say i want to dissect the red circle part so if i want to see through it i can click here to start removing layer by layer i'm not removing everything else i'm just removing this section cranial cavity and if you can see i still have this one brain you can see through it now i have dissected this portion of the skull if i want to dissect straight and i want to remove the small portion from here so i click on the small portion and i start also removing layer by layer the only difference is the other one i could draw the way i want this way no it's just straight so again if i want to see through it this is the sagittal suture is still remaining now i can see up again from the layout and the square then the two squares next to it i can add the histology so by clicking on one of the organs there it needs a little bit of time so you have to be patient the newborn skull fontanelles you can skim zoom in zoom out not rotate spin but you cannot dissect on this part of the on the right part of the screen you, you can do whatever you want here but here it's just an image that you can interact with by simply zooming in and out rotating but not more and reading about also the third dissection knob is the green one you have to click it again this works like the clipping so if i want to remove this part of the fetus i draw it and then i click on it it would directly remove all the layers without me having to click on each and every one of it again everything i can undo 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 okay even if i have done clipping afterwards so if i don't i've done clipping like here and then i did the dissection before i can undo the clipping then undo the dissection again it rotated because i wasn't having this as blue i want this part to be clipped so you click on the part that you want to remove in which you can see directly it removes all layers directly then comes this one two three four which is adding this or importing saving it as uh, later on after you have put your notes your drawings and you want to show it to your students to your peers later you can import and it would save as an anatomic table um, setting not uh, not as uh, the screenshot a jpeg or png so you cannot open it except with the anatomic table here gives me this uh, flashcard knob or button gives me the quiz or game mode in which you can customize you can edit and the questions if you have noticed here they vary according to the module you're selecting so in cross anatomy the question is way larger than this number in another organ it might be less and they have different quizzes like pick me flashcards multiple choice highlights in which you can customize the organ that you want to be uh, playing or quizzing about the student name you can add different student names and the game it's advisable also you can um, edit if you want the timing per question if you want to skip or get back to the skipped questions so on and so forth 
you can also um, it's advisable when you're doing the game to have the table flipped horizontally in which you have the teams facing each other and being able to see the both of them the the anatomage and playing around with it the scores will show it would show you how much incorrect you have done and how much correct you've done some of the explore options some explore tools are there so it's like this the annotation part for example the middle one this gives me the movement of the blood inside the vessels or not this allows me to select the specific system category or structure say i want to talk about the digestive category system sorry so i select it i annotate it for example i want it to be in yellow and then you can annotate each and every one upon annotating the category you will annotate the structures by default or immediately you can come and unselect the annotation or keep them also if you have colored the gallbladder and boundary tract uh, yellow you can color it as green you can change the color as you can see it's changing from inside or you can keep it yellow as the rest of the digestive category depends on what you want you can also change each of these separately so you can choose to annotate to color and the, in the coloring also i forgot to mention that you can choose what you want you can custom also the colors say i want to discover more about the liver or the large intestine where is the large intestine again clicking on this one and going to the physiology part. before i select the organ i add plus and pick up a structure for the left fly through and as you can see the intersection here between the red the blue and the green line i can play it here it's as if you're going inside a trip inside it you can replay that's it for this module uh, stay tuned for the rest of the modules in which you can access by coming to the home button clicking there and voila i hope you found this helpful stay tuned